I don't need a deal, got a whip and a chain, and no, I'm not a slave in the South. I got a crib in LA and a crib in AZ. The way I be putting shit down, I'm the motherfucking great. I feel like Muhammad Ali. Ali. Down goes Frey, I'm the motherfucking great. I feel like Jordan in his prime, I feel like Magic Johnson, 1980 Lakers. I'm the motherfucking great. Rap game, Tony Hawk, hopping on the road like a skater. I'm the motherfucking great. Used to be a legend in the making, now I'm feeling yeah. like the greatest. I've been snapping like a turtle. Dressed like a Merkel, they can turn What's up guys, it's your girl Lady Steel coming at you with another video. Boy, oh boy, this hate week uh, Steelers are uh, versus the Chicago Bears. Now before I get to this hate week, I want to give a huge shout out to the Steel City Disciples, the Renegades of Pittsburgh. We're killing it. So on to this hate week. Judah Tribe. Judah. Now what's crazy about Judah Tribe is... He's been talking hella shit about the Steelers for the past couple weeks. I mean, just running his gums. And I must say, I guess the Steelers are rent-free in his head because he couldn't even wait until the hate week to talk shit about my Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, now, now like I said before, I'm going to address some of the things that he said in the past week, because I know at the end of the day, you know, for his, you know, hate week, if he decides to come out, all he's going to do is just have a whole bunch of banter with his uh, PowerPoints talking about how the Steelers are cheaters, how the Steelers were using steroids, how the Steelers suck, how Ben's old, yada, yada, yada. The same bull bullshit, regurgitated shit that other people. Uh, teams you so let's address some of the things that he said before so I know in this hate week he's going to talk about how the Steelers are cheaters because in the 70s they used steroids I'm like listen in the 70s steroids were a hot commodity everybody was using steroids so to point out or to single out the Steelers for, for using the juice when at, when at basically everybody was using it and it wasn't uh, illegal at the time, it's absolutely crazy to be trying to invalidate the Steelers Super Bowls because of that when everybody was using them. But when you but when you mention uh, steroid use that the uh, '80s Bears did, Judah Tribe all of a sudden he don't got nothing to say. When you mention the 80s bear steroid use, he like shifts the goalpost or he totally deflects from this situation. I'm like, listen, if you're going to shit on the Steelers for using steroids, then you need to shit on the bears who uh, were using steroids. Mind you, when the bears used them, uh, steroids were banned. So who's really the cheaters? Who's really the cheaters? This is another classic case of a fan base being jealous of the Steelers' success. See, when you uh, talk about winning culture, the pinnacle of winning culture, there's really about like four teams that represent that. And that's the 49ers, the Cowboys, the Patriots, and the Steelers. Why? Because they had eras where they were basically dominating in wins and dominating in Super Bowls. So when you uh, hear about winning culture and establishing what it is to win football games, you hear those four teams, and yes, the Steelers are one of them. So when you have teams that basically have good strides, however, the, however these teams overshine that, then yes, you get, you know, better fans, you know, yes, the 80s Bears were good, but the steel cur curtain will always trump that, period, point blank. And I think a lot of uh, people get upset about that. Oh, well, it is what it is. Now, I know Judah Tribe in his uh, video, he's probably going, like I said before, he's going to make some PowerPoint talking about how... Uh, the Steelers are cheaters. The Steelers uh need to take back. Oh, in one of his videos, he said the Steelers need to give back their uh Super Bowl wins in the 70s. I'm like, hypothetically speaking, let's say if the Steelers were to do that, Judah, we would still have more Super Bowls than you. Take away our four, we would still have more Super Bowls than the Chicago Bears. So at the end of the day, like it or not, we're better than you. We have a better franchise than you. The Steelers just completely, just completely uh, overshadow you in all aspects 
of everything. Next, I know what you're probably going to say is, Oh, Ben's a rapist. <laughs> but we're, uh, listen. Same regurgitated shit over and over again. Yeah, Ben's old. I know you're probably going to say that too. But listen, but listen up. All Ben got to do is just manage the game. All Ben got to do is just make, uh, is just play mistake-free football. He does that, he's going to win you games. All right, period, point blank. So that's that. Oh, uh, what else you said? Oh, uh, the Steelers suck, and uh, yet this and that and the other is, is, is what you always say. Listen, you guys aren't any better. Yeah, the Steelers took some uh, hard losses, but so have y'all. So have y'all this season. What else did you say? Uh, you said the uh, the Bears have a better defense this year than the Steelers. Listen, we both have great defenses, period, point blank. But let me make one point. Your defense, start, start, actually starting with last week, your defense gave up 30-something points to the 49ers. My defense last week shut down a high-powered Browns offense. We shut down Nick Chubb. We held Nick Chubb to 61 yards. We held the Browns to just 10 points. We held the Browns to three points uh, all the uh, first half. The second quarter, we uh, the Browns' total yards was like negative six. So pretty. So yes, the Steelers did their damn thing. You also say you also uh, tried to climb the Steelers about us trading uh, Ingram. Listen. The Steelers have so much more to their defense than just Ingram. We got Watt. We got Hayward playing his best football as of yet. We got Alex Highsmith, Devin Bush, Joe Schubert, Mika Fitzpatrick, Terrell Edmonds, Joe Hayden, Cam Sutton, Trey Norwood. Come on. Come on. We're doing the damn thing out here on defense. You can talk about what what else you're probably going to talk about. You're probably going to talk about our O-line. Your O-line ain't even bet. Your O-line is no better. As a matter of fact, your O-line is trash. What do you think Cam Hayward is going to do to that O-line? We're going to feast on that O-line. Best in believe. We're going to win. This is, how, this is exactly how we're going to win this game. We're not going to even need the blitz. We can use our four-man rush. Get pressure on uh, Justin Fields. Sack him, force him to make mistakes, and then our offense is going to capitalize off of those mistakes. The uh, Steelers' offense, yeah, we've had our growing pains, but we're on an incline. Okay, we've uh, we've been improving. Our offensive line has been improving. Our run game has been improving. And now Jay Harris is going to freaking ball out facing you guys. And like, I, and, and, like, and like I said before, the Steelers, we feast on rookie quarterbacks. Ask T.J. Watt, he loves to feast on rookie quarterbacks. Justin Fields is going to be no different. My Steelers are going to go into that game, and we are going to absolutely dominate. Period, point blank, in Judah. And once we do, you ain't going to have shit to say about my Steelers because we're going to dominate you. And that's just the uh, fact. But anyway, it's your girl, Lady Still, checking up on out of here. Fuck the Bears, Judah. You're going, your team's going to get destroyed. And that's all I really have to say. If you decide to make a uh, video, you know I'll do a little response video. But anyway, it's your girl, Lady Still, checking up on out of here. The Still curtain will always trump the '80s Bears. We will always be a better franchise than you. You, even if you take away our, our, our 70 Super Bowls, we still have more Super Bowls than you. We have more Super Bowls than you then. We have more Super Bowls than you now. Period. Point blank. And you're just upset. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. But anyway, this is your girl lady still. Checking up on out of here. Peace.